Hi everybody, here comes the Wyckoff Research Log Weekly again. Let's quickly go through the top 5 cryptocurrencies and also the TLT as we did last week. If we look at the XRP, last time we talked about this long-term playground zone where we can treat the top of the white box as the uh, resistance. And we can see this week there's like large red candle coming down from after it hits the top of the box. So similar to what I talked about last week, it's as long as it stay within the box, it's still pretty much a trading range over here between the white and purple line. If this is really a Wyckoff distribution cycle, this has a very long or extended trading range over here. If we compare this from July last year to around October we are now, so it's about 15 months. And if you look at the discrimination cycle, it's May 22 to July. So roughly the same, more or less the same time, 14, 15 months. I hope it doesn't come down as low as late 2022. But if it does, it's around 60% of where we are now in terms of price. So let's keep an eye on uh, whether the price will drop below the purple line. So if we look at the weekly chart, it seems to be uh, pretty wrecked right now with a higher volume as well. But if we go to the daily chart, this seems to be a little bit of buying power today. But whether it can last, uh, we're not so sure. Because if we look at these red bars over here, they are pretty high volume compared to the earlier bars over the past two, three weeks. So be cautious, as I said last week. And then Solana. So it's still around three times or almost $100, well, $90 above the top of the long-term playground zone. So this has more relevance as well because the low was actually hit also mid last year. So November 22nd, it's almost the uh, lowest since 2021. Uh, I mean, after the climb in 2021, it was only not less than $10, let's put it this way. But then last year was pretty much above this long-term playground zone bottom, around $15. So hopefully it doesn't drop all the way back down to the long-term playground zone because it's the low of the long-term playground zone is only at one-tenth of the price of where we are now. We'll have to see whether it stays above this orange uh, support line. If it doesn't and it goes below the red support line, then it will be like a no man zone. Uh, ho hopefully not repeating the pattern in uh, mid-2022. If we go to the daily uh, chart, it's actually struggling <laughs> between or around the orange uh, resistance or support line uh, that uh, I mentioned just now. So here we can see it's actually close below that um, support line. So it's trying to go back up, but there seems to be some selling going on once it hits the resistant line. So this is where Solana is. And well, again, stop loss, set your stop loss if you're trading it. If it stays within this trading range between the orange line and the yellow line, then people can still play around for probably a few more weeks before anything happened. Last time, the whole cycle lasted for about a full year end to end. Now we are already, well, exactly one year, I would say. So from October 23rd to where we are now, it's almost exactly one year. So whether it would develop something similar, also a full 12 month cycle, such a coincidence, we'll have to Pay close attention for what's coming in the next two weeks. And then for BNB, the Binance coin. So it didn't stop at where the yellow uh, support line is. And it seems it's still trading between the green line about 610 to 490, the orange line. So if it stays within this trading range, again, uh, the active traders can still have their room to make some money and enjoy some fun. If it really decide to come down, so this cycle from where it started to climb, uh, if we can from here, again, it's October last year. So we are 
approaching the 12 months timeline in two weeks time so let's see what happens in the next two weeks uh last round started 2021 and then when it came down to the lowest it's june 22nd so it's one and a half year roughly or a year and four months so that was the last cycle i mean this distribution cycle so we are at the the other distribution cycle now with a gigantic scale well, there are some mini ones here, but uh, I'm just looking at the huge ones. So if we if we come back down to the bottom of the playground zone, it's about 40% of where uh, the price is now. So this low was set September last year. So hopefully, um, especially if you're holding some BNB, it doesn't go this low. Um, otherwise, there will be some uh, down, well, down wood, I was, I was trying to say. So then Ethereum. So we discussed about whether this is approaching the end of the distribution cycle or is it the beginning of a new accumulation cycle. So this action, this week we see this large red candle is kind of expected after the automatic um, reaction or response actually. So let's see whether it will come down below the long term playground zone, uh, the top of the playground zone, this, red, uh, this white box. If it does, it may stop somewhere at this uh, resistant line in the accumulation cycle. That means 1,890 roughly or 1,900 um, to make it easier. If it doesn't stop there, it can go back to this around 1,100. So that's the low of the accumulation cycle uh, in 2022. So far, the volume isn't that high. So it may be forming a trading range here. Um, if it does, or if it really is a, an accumulation cycle, uh, there will be some second test for sure. So it can chip chop over here before it climbs again. So we'll see how it develops uh, in this space. And finally, Bitcoin. So last week we talked about this purple resistant line, and it really then uh, the price really didn't go up above it. So again, if it is uh, continuing this downward trend with lower highs, if it stays within this trading range above the red line, that's good. At least there will be still be there will still be some time to play with, and hopefully this is. This triangle is some way it will break through and go up again. If not, if it really breaks the red line again and doesn't hold over here, it may go back down to the long time playground. So, and last year January was where it start uh, the price started to climb. Started to climb. So if it falls back to sixteen thousand, it's almost roughly just a quarter of the price of where we are now. So uh, again, looking from a Wyckoff pattern, distribution pattern perspective, can be optimistic. So if it plays out like what we had in 2022, the drop is coming, whether it's a gradual drop like we discussed last time or like a fierce one because of whatever war going on or new old or new or any other news coming out that can be leveraged we have to be careful and then finally TLT so it's still in the uh, accumulation cycle it's probably the end of the accumulation cycle and if the price stays above this purple support line and keep uh, making higher lows then it's a good sign what we have to or what we are looking for next if that happens is whether it breaks through this orange resistance line where the um automatic reaction happened over here earlier quite a while ago it's december 22nd so let's see how it plays out and if it climbs back to the long-term playground zone but we are around 96 97 dollars now if it climbs to the uh, top of the zone it's about 50 percent climbed it would be let's see whether it will happen that way so I wasn't calculating or drawing the box for these giant peaks. So if the price really go beyond and matches the last peak in 2020, that's uh, ideal. A lot of people would be help happy at uh, $170. Even if it doesn't go that high, it's almost double the price now. Even if it just reached about 140, like I said, it's already a 50% climb. So still a happy result, but nobody can be sure. So let's see how it develops. Thanks for watching. See you next week.